Plastics play a pivotal role in our everyday life, from plastic bags, containers, cutlery and much more. Plastics can be categorized into main seven types which are polyethylene, terephthalate, high density polyethylene, polyvinyl chloride, low density polyethylene, polypropylene, polystyrene or styrofoam and lastly miscellaneous plastics. Polypropylene and polyethylene alone make up almost 60% of the plastics produced globally. As of 2018, Malaysia produces 38,000 tons of waste each day with an average of 1.17 kg of waste per person every day. To 20% of the collected waste to be plastic waste with the composition of the waste changing. Malaysia's solid waste management such as landfill, incineration or mechanical recycling are not suitable to treat plastic waste. Plus, there is a high dependency on crude oil for the production of plastics. Even if we convert plastics into fuel, more crude oil will be needed for the production of plastics. Hydrothermal liquefaction Hydrothermal liquefaction is a technique for obtaining relatively pure biofuel from biomass in the presence of a solvent at moderate to high temperature and pressure. This method can liquefy biomass with any level of moisture contents. Hydrothermal liquefaction yields high biomass conversion and relatively pure products. Hydrothermal liquefaction is an environment-friendly technology. It is also receiving an increased amount of attention due to its unique inherent properties of high temperature water that includes a high ion product and a low dielectric constant which are favorable for promoting reactions without catalysts. PTF is a process major in conversion of plastic into high quality fuels. Current PTF technology used is processing waste into fuel via pyrolysis. To begin with, HTL is a developing technology which falls under the category of PTF. PTF projects are gaining traction globally as people are becoming aware of plastic waste problem. There are currently eight leading companies operating PTF technologies. This technology is forecast to reach $2.33 billion by 2026. A power plant can produce up to 19,000 litres at an enhanced conversion rate of 95%, processing up to 20 tons of plastics. This type of plant also emits less carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide than coal-fired power plant per unit power. An environ plant situated in US processes 10,000 tons of plastic waste annually, producing 3 to 5 barrels of oil per ton of plastic. Oil produced by the oil generator proved to cost 25% cheaper than commercially produced oil. Byproducts such as hydrocarbon and solid residues are used as a heating source. Among the end fuel generated by plastics, crude oil is also produced. As of 2018, crude oil dominates the market with a share of 57%. Nations such as China, India, and Australia are taking advantage of this new emerging technology by reducing plastics and meet high demand of petroleum. Finally and importantly, there are also possibilities where loop of resources can be created using 15-80% to hydrocarbon byproducts as a feedstock to chemical plants to produce existing plastics. As a result, we don't need to utilize additional petroleum in the production line. In conclusion, Hydrothermal liquefaction using supercritical water is a promising technology with higher efficiency and quality than pyrolysis. Producing a high yield of oil in a polyethylene and polypropylene dominated municipal waste, it is sure to provide a great opportunity to produce cheaper and greener solution to reach global demand of fuels. Oil derived from the process has low oxygen containing products and higher calorific values than regular PTF technologies. Therefore, further upgrades are not necessary for HTL using supercritical water derived oil.